Hello all this is Santosh and welcome to Tech Design. So in this tutorial I am going to make this particular part model example. So you can see here we also have a drawing for this. So these are the different views and uh, there is a detailed view you can see here this is the detailed view. So we are going to make this in um, NX part modeling. So let us open a new file here. So I'll just go to new file and uh, keep it as a millimeter and you can just click OK. So this will take you to a 3D workbench. Yeah, so this is the part model workbench. So now what I'm going to do is you can see in the drawing. So there is a 100 mm, 100 mm. Uh, there will be a square which is of uh, you know 10 mm, mm as a you know width. So now what I'm going to do is I'll just go to sketcher environment on this particular plane and I'll just click OK. So in the sketcher, I'm going to draw a rectangle here. So this is going to be a rectangle. And let me give the dimension for this. Hit D. And this is going to be 100 mm. And this is going to be 100 mm. So now it is completely square. OK, so I'm going to finish the sketch. And now in the drawing, as you can see here, this is 10 mm extrude. So I'm going to go to extrude and let me give this as a 10 mm. Okay. So this is a 10 mm. I'm just click OK. So once this is done, uh, we have to make this profile. As you can see here, this is 70 mm uh, lines are there, and then there is an uh, arc here with 80 diameter. So I'm going to do this on this particular face. So now let me go to sketcher environment again on this face now, and let me click OK. So here I'm going to make a circle first. So circle with a diameter of 80. Sorry. <clears throat> Sorry, it should be 80. Okay. And now there are lines here. So this is my, okay. Let me draw this line here. This is one line and this is another line. So I'll just hit C and uh, let me make this as a vertical so i'll just make this as a vertical and point on a curve so this point should be on this curve and this point should be on this curve similarly this point should be on this curve and again this point should be on this curve okay so i'll just uh, move this uh, lines over here okay and there is a distance here as you can see here this is 70 mm and from one edge it is 15 mm okay so let me give the distance here between these two there will be a distance of 70 mm and between one line it should be 35 so it is not given because it is a symmetric value so we can just provide 35 mm and between this edge it is 15 mm so 15 mm it is already there so we don't need to provide Okay, so now uh, whatever the unwanted line, so this is going to be unwanted curve. I'm going to trim it by using a T command. So I'm going to trim these two lines. Okay, so that's all we need in this sketch. So our sketch is fully constrained. You can see here and I'm going to finish the sketch. So now we need to extrude this. So but uh, the whatever the extrude length is not given here. So you can see here there is this is the 25 mm, but it is in angled face so what i'm going to do is i'm going to extrude it up to uh, around 40 mm okay so just go to 40 mm extrude here and also you can see here uh, there is a 5 mm of uh, draft here for this particular uh, extrude so i'm going to provide that as well so here i'm going to give a distance as 40 mm and it should be united with this body and there is a draft from start limit so this is going to be our start limit and uh, the draft will be 5 mm and you can just click OK. So now we can see this is our model and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom into here and whatever this profile is there I'm going to create this profile and remove the extra material. So for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to sketch environment on this plane now and I'll just click OK and here if you see here so there is a 25 mm um, face here with 70 degree angle so I'm going to create this construction lines first so go to line here 
and it should start from this point and it goes along like this okay so this should be on this edge so press c and point on a curve so this point should be on this edge okay and it is also having an angle here so press d and this is there is an angle here between these two it should be 70 okay and now there is a distance here for this this distance is 25 mm okay so you can see here 25 mm is a distance 70 degrees an angle and the distance from this center is 15 mm so let us give that 15 mm from this to this distance it is 15 mm okay so this is our uh, you know um, construction line so we don't need this sketch so we are going to convert it into a construction line okay so now we need to draw a line here which is perpendicular to this uh, particular construction line so go to line here and draw a line here okay so this should be perpendicular okay so now i'm going to constrain it so the point on a curve so this end point should be on this curve okay so it will be extended so now we need uh, you know to remove the material so that is why i'm going to close this profile okay so now i'm going to extend this line until this and trim this extra line okay so whatever this line is there i'm going to mirror it so go to mirror curve and select this curve sorry so go to mirror curve and select only single curve and go to select this curve and my center line will be this you can just click ok and trim this extra line ok so this is the profile we need so we are going to you know trim this material so i'll just finish the sketch and i'll just go to extrude again and here we can just give symmetric value and give whatever the value we want and we can just subtract this and you can just click ok so now we don't want this sketch so i'm going to hide this sketch okay <clears throat> so once this is done uh, you can see there there are some uh, feature over here so these are four features are available so these are the four features available so what i'm going to do is i'm going to create one feature over here so and i'm going to pattern this feature so all the dimensions are given here so all these dimensions are with respect to this whatever the construction learning that we have so i'm going to uh, you know make uh, one plane here with an offset of 35 mm and then on that particular plane i'm going to create this feature so let me go to plane here and with a distance of uh, so from this edge and it is a distance of 35 mm and it should be in the reverse direction and you can just click ok ok so this is our plane now and i will go to sketch around one environment on that plane ok so here also we need to draw this uh, construction line 70 degree and 25 mm because we need to make a profile this particular profile on that uh, you know uh, line so what i'm going to do is i'm going to draw a line here the same line and this line should be point on a curve so this point should be on this curve and the angle let us hit d the angle between this to this is 70 degree and this point should lie on this line so press c and point on a curve so this point should be okay so i think this is not a curve here so let us you know uh, project this curve so go to project and i'm going to project this curve and it should be associative and just click ok and now i'm going to extend this okay so it is extended so now you can see here i'm going to create this profile so now let me see here i'll just go to line let me select a profile so this is going to be our profile okay and let me extend this until the next point and i'm going to trim this so now you can see here uh, whatever this fair this edge is 8 mm so i'm going to give 4 mm for this because we are going to revolve it so this edge is of 4 mm okay 
and also you can see here for this edge it is uh, 12 mm so i will give, give the distance as uh, 6 mm <coughs> <clears throat> and then uh, we have an angle here so both side the angle is 20 degree so I'm going to hit D and the angle between this line to this line is 20 degree the same way angle between this line to this line is 20 degree okay so let me extend this until this point okay so this line height you can see here 5 mm and 8 mm so let us give this height from this edge to either you can select this point so this is 5 mm again uh, the distance here from this line to this line it is 8 mm so now we need to provide this 15 mm here so let us give this from this point to this center line it is 15 mm okay so now you can see here our sketch is fully defined so we don't need to do anything here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the sketch so I'll, go, I'll just finish the sketch and now we need to make a revolve for this so go to revolve and here I'm going to select a single curve and stop at intersection so I'm going to select these curves okay so now we need to provide a vector vector should be along this and you can see here it is 360 degree and it is united with the body you can just click ok what we are going to do is I'm going to make a edge blend here so go to edge blend and I'm going to give 1 mm edge blend this is not provided in the drawing so I'm going to give 1 mm edge blend on both sides okay uh, now what we have to do is I'm going to mirror this feature so go to mirror feature and now I'm going to select this revolve and edge blend and now my plane will be this line okay I'll just click OK and now you can see here the feature has came now again I'm going to make a mirror feature on the other side so I'll just go to mirror feature and from this one I'm going to select all these three and now at this time it should be along this plane okay yeah so now I'll just click ok you can see it is updated so now uh, we are left with some of the edge blends so you can see here there is a radius of 10 and then there is a radius of 10 here so we are going to give edge blend here this edge blend is 10 mm okay again this edge blend is 10 mm so all four side it is 10 mm and the top side is also it is 10 mm okay and i'll just click okay and also as you can see here uh, this radius is 3 mm so let us go to edge blend again and this time it is 3 mm and i'm going to select this particular edge okay so everything is done uh, you can see the drawing here so as per drawing everything is done so this is how we can make this particular model guys so whatever the dimensions that are given in the drawing so we have uh, you know utilized them and made a model so if you have any doubts please comment in the section below i will try to answer so thank you guys